with automation brought to our lives. Our hands are free from hard labor in industries, agriculture, as well as daily life. Among them, the water pump is an efficient and economic tool for water supply. However, with the development of industry, the issue of lack of electricity has become more and more grim day by day. Traditional grid supply is becoming insufficient for this need. RNVT, a globally leading and respected provider for solution of industrial automation and electric power, devoted itself to developing high efficiency and high-tech products for customers with modern technology. GoodDrive 100 PV Series Inverter is a new series of products developed by RMVT for better utilization of solar energy to drive water pump. It is a new solution for traditional solar pump drive challenges. In this video, let's make a discovery on what is so special about this project. This is the protagonist, GoodDrive 100 PV Solar Pump Inverter. This is the main body. And this is a cabinet with IP54 protection class. It can well protect the equipment inside and prolong lifespan under strict conditions. The fan fixed onto it is to facilitate heat dissipation. And this cubic box is boost module, used for boosting the voltage coming from the solar panels to reach the minimum starting voltage for inverter to run. It is the solution for making inverter work even with less solar panels. We will introduce this in detail later. This time we have freed up all the troublesome and complicated settings. Customers will only need to connect wires correctly and start running. We equipped excellent maximum power point tracking algorithm into GoodDrive 100 PV. As we can see, there are two inverters on the wall. The left side one has no MPPT algorithm, while the right side, GoodDrive 100 PV, has MPPT algorithm. Under exact same conditions, GoodDrive 100 PV has a higher running frequency and thus more pumping water. We also record the total water sum today for both sides. As we can see, GoodDrive 100 PV has a total of 357 cubic meters, while the other one has 280 cubic meters. We have some feedback from market that some customers tend to equip fewer solar panels than recommended in consideration of a high solar panel cost. In this case, the total output voltage of solar panel array will be lower than the minimum starting voltage of inverter, which in turn is not able to start. So we come up with this boost module. It can transform the relatively low voltage from panel array to a higher voltage, so it is still okay if you equip less solar panels. What is also included in the boost module is auto switch function. This function enables customers to switch between solar energy input and grid power supply input to realize 24 hours uninterrupted running. Note that boost module is only for 2.2 kW and below of power ratings. Inverters with higher power must be equipped with sufficient solar panels to ensure enough energy coming. Now, what I'm pointing at is the GPRS module, the communication module. When customers use this module with SIM card, the inverter will be able to connect to the internet, exchanging data at real time. Customers then can log in on the website or mobile phone app to read information and make operations. This is the interface of app. You can do real time monitoring with this. After entering your chosen machine, you can send run, stop, self cleaning restore recorded follow-up commands to inverter and make it react. You can also check running information like current flow, current pump lift, total flow, output frequency, output voltage, output current, current PV voltage, and enjoy the ease of configuring parameters anywhere. You also can check fault history here. 
With this valuable information, engineers can have an early learn of inverter fault information and bring right tools to the site.